Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is tutorial 15C in the Lua series, where we're going to be continuing with scoreboards, and this time we're going to be making titles to organize everything and make it look a lot nicer. So we can start with the same method that we've been using in the last couple tutorials, and that's to make a table called player title or line title like that. And as usual, we have in it with the argument itself. Now this one, we're going to be counting how many players are on the server. So we're going to need to add this to the parents panel. So say the label and then we are going to control D and let's dock this and we're going to fill this. All right. Then I'm going to set the font to one of the custom fonts above, which will say scoreboard player. So if I don't want to do that, you can always create another font and make it just how you like it. So anyway, I'm going to make this color white. And also, optionally, just to remind you guys, we can add some margins here if you want to. Uh, don't have to, but this is where you do it. All right, so now let's get a label for the ping. So we're going to add that to the parent, so the label. And if you don't understand what we're making right here, it's pretty much a bar above all the other player bars. So it's, yes. Yeah, it's a bar above all the other player bars, which is going to label all the things that we made in the last video. So, oh, the scare board. It's not Halloween yet. Make a scare board then. All right, so, all right, so we're doing some pretty uh, repetitive stuff. Uh, set font, set text color, and set dock margin. So, I can pretty much just copy and paste this right here and just change this to ping and that'll save us some time. Except I'm going to be changing the margin right here for the third argument, which is the bottom. And also we're going to be doing the same exact thing for score. So just going to copy and paste this and save some time and we'll put score right here and so on. So you can put doc margin, whatever. Now, this following stuff is going to be for the title panel itself. So we're going to say to dock it at the top. And we're going to add some padding to it. We want three on every side. We're going to set the height. And we set it to about 38. And this uh, 38, that's accounting for the value of 3 right here and 3 from the top and the bottom. And then the dock margin is going to be 10, 0, 10, 2. So that's going to set our margins. And lastly, with just like we set the Z position for everything, like all the players uh, bars right here, or the player lines, we used the Z position, right? So we're going to be doing that, like right here, it's set Z position, and then Z position set right here. So we're going to be doing the same thing to ensure that this title bar stays at the top. So to do that, we set the Z position to a really low negative value. So you can put like 6,000. Um, this is going to assume, okay, so players with a zero, a zero um, score would have a Z position of just zero naturally by what we set up here, unless they're on the red team. So it's, it should be a 2,000 right here. So unless they're on the red team. So if they're on the blue team, they'll have a Z position of zero. So if they get 100 kills, well, 100 times negative 50 is negative 5,000. 
So we want to make sure they don't ever get above this value or else the players can go above the title bar. So we can set this to some ridiculous like 8,000 and that will ensure that that never happens. All right, so next I want to go for a think right here. And here, remember the arguments yourself. Um, we're going to be doing a player count just say initially equals zero and we're going to be doing a for loop within pairs so we're going to be looking at this table player get all which is going to get every player on the server and we're going to look at each value individually or each player in this case individually and for each player that gets counted we're going to add that to the player count and then after that, players, we're going to set the text to players. We're going to do something like this, concatenate. Then we're going to do player count and concatenate and do that. So that's going to set the players text. The score is going to be set right here. So this is just the title remember we're not actually getting the score itself that was a uh, last video and same here for ping so we're going to get the title for the ping set up all right and that's everything for think and here we have paint which is going to be a function self with height and here we're just going to draw a rounded box which is going to have four rounded edge so very similar to the player lines same style initial position zero zero ending positions width and height and the color for the title bar would be 50 50 50 and 175 or something like that Okay, so this is all everything we're going to have for the table right here. Very short in comparison to the actual player lines. Now, remember, we need to actually register this table here. So we're going to say VGUI register table. So we're going to be registering player line title and that's going to be a D panel. All right, so save that. And the last thing we have to do is to actually add this new panel that we created to the scoreboard itself. So we go down to the scoreboard. And okay, so we have scoreboard right here. We go to the end of init right here. So init scoreboard init. At the bottom, we're going to add this line self title is going to equal to self scores add so remember we're adding it to scores here which is uh, right here and that's going to be at the top of the the uh, scroll panel right here which is why we're using the set Z position and all that so we're going to be adding player line title okay so that should be it right there so let's go in game and see what happens all right so we're now in game and pressing the tab menu and as you can see here is the title bar right above all the other bars and all the other bars being that one bar being me um, you can adjust the position of score ping and players and all that by modifying the dock margins right here so if you're not quite satisfied by the positioning that's how you do it um, if you're still getting an error like with bars going over the top just adjust the Z value to a higher negative Z value um, the limit for set Z position is on the wiki and lastly I'm going to show you what it's like when we have multiple players so I'm going to put some bots in here by typing bot and we have everybody on the red team, so we have five players. 
and let's get some blue team people. And we got one blue team person. There's that 50-50 chance working out just so perfectly. Anyway, so if you have any more questions on scoreboards, this is pretty much the basics for everything. Um, so feel free to leave me a comment or whatever if there's still confusion. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.